Gel that protects your house in a wildfire. That side is an amazing up. spray on shield that can save your home in a wildfire. It's like covering your home with a giant sponge. And a this is fireproofing. A lot of heat coming off there. Deconstructed. This is a, basically a do-it-yourself fire block for the homeowner, right? It, it really is. A homeowner can put this long-lasting fire protective gel coating onto their home. When they come back, their house is still standing after that fire goes through. But can a fire blocking chemical really work that well? So what do we got here? This is a little mock-up of a house that we've built. Represents some of the what we refer to as the critical areas or the weak links in the chain of protection for a house. Obviously, wooden siding, glass windows that'll break in the radiant heat. It's got the underneath side of the eaves, the soffit vents. And of course, our nemesis, the old cedar shake shingles. That we're gonna be putting barricade on everything or? No, I think it would be most instructive if we just coat half of it. Connected to a standard garden hose, the barricade goes on in a frothy lather. You wanna spray the coating on the surface to be protected until it looks white. Get right up underneath the underneath side of the eaves. This should do fine. Fire the sucker up. Let me see if this works. Yes. You do your thing. Obviously, the, the trees go up very quickly. Wow. The glass window is cracked. That means that fire is in the house. Look at the soffit. It melted out very early on. Wow. That is intense. It's getting warm. Yeah, yeah. A typical forest fire can reach temperatures of 1,800 degrees. This propane torch is burning at over 3,500 degrees. It's incredible. That side is keeping up so well. After about two minutes, the untreated side is charred to a crisp, and the soffit vents are nearly unrecognizable. You can see it's burned right through here. Wow. That is That fire is definitely up into that attic. Now, let's compare that to the barricade side. A quick spray down with a garden hose, and the wood underneath is nearly untouched. Even the windows stay intact. I mean, the difference between this and that over just this little coating right there, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. So what's the secret behind Barricade's fire-stopping abilities? It's a super absorbent pop day. Here's how it works. The special polymers in Barricade hold so much water, it's like having a bunch of wet, sticky sponges coating a surface. It's like covering your home with a giant sponge. Uh, putting a wet blanket over it, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but Barricade Gel isn't just marketed to homeowners. It's also dropped by slurry bombers to keep a forest fire from spreading. All right, so this is what a uh, forest is in Florida, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's actually a planted Christmas tree, but we're going to use it to demonstrate this technology's use in forest firefighting. For this right. demo, we coat one tree in Barricade and light two trees next to it. Woo! That's getting a little warm. Woo! That's kind of what it feels like in a wildfire. As hot as it is, the middle tree should catch fire, but it doesn't. I want to put this flame directly on that. Even with a 3,000 degree torch directly on the tree, nothing. There's only one thing left to coat today. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I, I, don't, any heat I don't even feel any heat. That is a lot of heat coming off there, too. With Barricade providing this kind of fire protection, I got to hand it to John. And this is called the Barricade Handshake. <laughs> I like. Thank you very much. High five. <laughs> <laughs>